Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So my buddy Maxime over at Solemn Tones sent me over his new drum program called Mjolnir Drums. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, it's kind of supposed to pair with his guitar tones, you know, from Solemn Tones. Uh, you know, there's it's pretty much metalcore based, post hardcore based, but it should be pretty universal. You know, you can play with Jan, um, progressive music, stuff like that. So, you know, we're going to give it a go, give it a bit of a demo. He pretty much sent them over and said kind of the purpose of these were to give a box ready, you know, drum mix. So instead of spending, you know, two, two weeks, three weeks, a month, you know, to get a decent mix from your drums, uh, these should sound apparently good right away, kind of fit in. So we're going to give a demo. We have kind of a metalcore background back here, uh, instrumental with the guitars. It should fit fairly well, naturally. Again, these are kind of first view, first impressions of it. So yeah, let's just kind of see how it goes. So straight out of the box, uh, I'm going to get in the same mindset I was, you know, when I started five years ago or so. I didn't really want to focus on mixing all the time. I wanted to focus just on composing and making good music. So let's see. Hopefully it sounds great. So here, right out of the box with uh, the full mix, you know, with my guitars and the bass. So not too bad. That actually sounds that actually sounds pretty good. Um, I'm gonna kind of play around with all these presets, and then we'll kind of do everything else based on the one that might be a good starting point. So here's balanced, natural. So it's a bit less processing here. Maxime's drums. A lot more room. Giant room. A lot more room. No room. And only room. Okay. Yeah, so I think the balance actually sounds the best to me. Good starting point. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away some of the room actually. But I, actually, before I get to that, here's some. Here's the UI. It looks very clean. Um, yeah, honestly, I, very simple. I like it. Uh, here's the kind of volumes, kick, snare, drum, uh, tom, cymbals. You know, if you want to solo the tracks, if you want to mute them. The humanize function is cool. Um, so if we put it all the way, it definitely sounds a little weird. So maybe keep it around. I'm gonna keep it around one, one and a half for now. Give it a bit more of a realistic feel, but not too much where you're crushing everything else. Um, and here's the mixing panel. So again, very nice and simple. So all the pieces of the kit, uh, direct volume, I'm assuming, room volume for each. Uh, overall room overall direct overall master you can invert pan that's interesting so if you want like if you want the right symbols instead to be on the left side you can do that you can also just pan down here which is great um, so yeah first thing i want to do is take away some of the room just way too much right there for for the mix at least right now I'm gonna bring the volumes up for everything else there we go i like those volumes i think that sounds great Cool, so we're gonna keep that for now. Um, what else is there? So routing, yes. Um, when I was programming the MIDI kind of drums for this, I did notice it was a little unconventional. I've used, you know, Get Good Drum Superior, all that stuff for a while. And the where their MIDI notes are placed are fairly similar. This one was a little bit different, but regardless, you can customize wherever you want them, so that's perfect. Um, we're only gonna be using Stereo 1 output for this instead of 12 outputs. Uh, 12 outputs, of course, is if you want to mix every part of the kick separately, which I would recommend to anybody. But we're just kind of going to pretend again we're, you know, five years ago. We don't really know what we're doing. We're just going to simplify everything. So we're just going to use one stereo output for now. All right. Let's hear how, you know, reducing the room affected in the mix. There we go. That's nice. I mean, yeah, that sounds badass even without having to do anything. So there you go. That's that's pretty much out of the box. Slight volume changes. So that's great so far. I'm gonna now add you know a few plugins uh, to kind of tweak it a bit and see what it can kind of really do. I'm not gonna go overboard again, but this is kind of more slightly more advanced uh, mixing stuff. So just let's simply add some compression. That's definitely something this, uh, this track needs. Pump it up a little more. There you go. I 
again, I'd usually be doing this for every separate track, but just for the sake of this video, let's do it all for kind of the overall drums and it'll, it'll still sound really good. So there you go. There you go, a lot more punch. That sounds better, especially with this. Cool, uh, I did what, yeah, so I wanna add a limiter. I'm using Finality Advance for this. Just to push it a little more. There we go, a little more power to the drums to kind of go with the instrumental. Um, and then maybe just a bit EQ. So all I did here for the EQ was, oops, a bit of a dip around 200, a slight boost for that lower range click, mid range click maybe, and then a high and low pass filter. There we go. Yeah, that dip really helps it sit in the mix because a lot of my bass is kind of focused around this area, so it's good to take it out of the kick and the rest of the drums. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that. That sounds great. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go on for hours trying to continue to mix this, but I, I really don't have to. It, it does sound really good so far. And yeah, so there's there's where with a bunch of plugins, you know, sounds. Uh, if I were to take out these plugins, again, here's an out of the box. Some people might even think this sounds better. You know, it's all about preference. Yeah, sounds great. Damn, man. Uh, Maxim created, a, like I gotta say, created a really cool product. You know, would I use this very often? I'm not sure, just because, you know, I have been mixing for a while. Um, I'm used to other programs like Get Good Drums, which require a little more tweaking but it kind of is worth it. But you know, five years ago, uh, if I had a program like this, I would be ecstatic. Uh, just because it is so simple and just you do get great tones right away, which is something that a lot of these programs, you know, don't give you. So yeah, I mean, he, he hit it right on the ball there. Um, I'd recommend this to anyone who's just starting out, really doesn't know much about mixing whatsoever and just wants to focus on composition and kind of getting easy, uh, pretty good drum tones, more so, of course, metalcore bass, post hardcore. But again, it's it's pretty it's pretty universal. I mean, this is more even gent progressive metal, and it it fits great. So, yeah, um, great product, Maxim, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. And yeah, hope you guys like this video. Definitely something a little different, but be sure to go check it out and show Maxim some love, man. Dude, create some uh, dope products. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and uh, more videos are coming. Okay, they're on the way. Peace out, guys.